I would like to explain my vision of product lifecycle management or PLM. I would like to make it very easy and so I will only, only talk about three components of this definition. When we think about a three axis coordinate system, we have axis one, that's a product lifecycle process. We start from the requirement management, functional management, conceptual bill of material or product structure, engineering bill of material, manufacturing bill of material, maintenance bill of material, and at the end, recycling. That is one axis, very important axis. The name product life cycle management shows product life cycle as a very important component. Another very important component is the second axis. I call it the disciplines or domains. So we have really no products or only a few products with pure mechanics. Our products today are high sophisticated, high, high electronic, high tech products like cell phones, cars, airplanes. They are all dominated by electronic and software right now. And so I would like to combine in the, third, in the second axis mechanic, electronic, software, electric, and even for a long term perspective, services. So we will see in the European market and the international market that service becomes a part of the product. And the third axis, the last axis, is the supply chain or the different organizational units of a company. We have to think about globalization. That does mean products were built and developed and sell so everywhere, anywhere. And therefore, we have to combine these different units inside the enterprise and outside from the supply chain. But that's my framework of my vision, how I define uh, product lifecycle management. <laughs>